Hey, it's Dr. Rowe. Good morning to you. Those of you that may not have followed this over the last few years, you may not be aware that I created something a couple of years ago called Dr. Rowe's Recipe for Success. And it essentially inc incorporates five ingredients, five areas of our life that we need to work on, which includes money, self, relationships, our body, and the other area, of course, is our mind. So if you think of it as mind, body, and soul, I believe actually if we work at it as mind, body, and self, then relationships, and then money, uh, those five areas make up everything that we do on a daily basis. And I created 52 sets of recipes. So 52 recipes which span the whole of a year. And within each of those recipes, there's five ingredients. And the philosophy is that every single week, if you apply these ingredients, it starts to work on the different areas of your life. For a lot of people, they pursue success, financials, uh, and that's where the main drive is during the course of a week. Go off to work, spend a lot of time working to earn money, come back, maybe get a bit of exercise in. Uh, whereas the philosophy of the five a day uh, and a five a week, I mean, it just depends on your, your personal financial situation, timing, how much time you've got available, etc. Uh, not everyone can fit all five ingredients in, in, in a daily basis. So I'm going to give you an opportunity here to follow me over the coming months and we'll talk on the principle of five a week to start with and those people that are more capable of doing it, fitting in more ingredients on a daily basis, that's fantastic. So the average person wants to do things, they want to work on their health, they want to work on their relationship, they want to work on their money, they want to work on their mind, they want to work on their body, they want to work on themselves and the intention is each day to try and do something but of course life shows up you get very busy and you find yourself in a situation where you can't do that or you can't really have any you can't think of what to do or you don't know what to focus on or you don't know what that thing could be that day so what I did was I created these 260 ingredients on the principle that if you're really busy hey here's something you could do today you don't have to think about it it's there it's in your face uh, you just look at it and go right that is my ingredient that I'm gonna top up myself with today and the principle being that you know we are the chef of our life we can recreate and create amazing things in our lives as well so today's ingredient is in the subject of money each day there'll be a different theme and it's an opportunity for you to just listen and say okay yeah I like the idea of that and remember you don't have to do these but actually it's great because if you hear it and you think oh yeah I'd like to do that that's your ingredient for the, for the rest of the day. And you can find ways to apply that or when to apply that. In today's situation, it's money and it's gonna be a really simple one. And I really like this. So at the end of today, and if you wanna do this for the rest of the week, cause this is a weekly ingredient, but the end of today, what I'd like you to do is when you get home, and remember, I'm not a financial advisor. <laughs> any change that you've got and you'll probably laugh and if you had this experience and you know what i'm talking about you need this change in your pockets this change in the car in the coffee little holder this change in the glove compartment this change of rolling around at the back of the car a loose change in a bag and a handbag in a wallet kicking around the house on the back of a couch whatever it is at the end of today and for the rest of this week you do this every day is all I'd like you to do is just gather any change that you've got loose coins anything like that and just put it into one place put it into a jar if you want to think of the jar system I think that's a T Harvecker one everybody's got different ways to do it you might have a little money bag uh, you might have a little money bowl could be a little wooden bowl I do like wooden bowls because it's got that natural thing going on but either way take that loose change and pop it into that one place and I want you to do this, if you can, on a daily basis through the week and ideally do it throughout the whole month. And the whole point here, here is that you don't really touch that change. What you do is you, you just leave it there and you allow your intentions, place intention on it. So as you place the money down into the thing, you just say thank you to the universe. You're grateful for that day and any money that you would have earned that day. You place it into the bowl. And what I like to do is as I put it in there, I just allow myself to give it a good intention. It's gonna have something positive that it's gonna be used for. And then at the end of the month, the plan is you essentially 
take that bowl of money, that change, and decide how you want to allocate that money. Now, this is where we go into something called a money management system, uh, a system of managing anything that comes in on a monthly basis, but this is now your loose change. Now, some people choose to put that loose change and give it to charity, which is fantastic. Others choose to say, right, this is the money I want to spend to go out and have a nice meal. That could be something else you could do with it. Somebody else might choose to spend the money on treating themselves to something. It could be that it's money that you give to your kids. It could be money that you spend on clothes. It might be money you carry then with you and you give to somebody that's in need of it. It's entirely up to you and this is the beautiful thing about it. It might be you allocate that money into your normal financial system. And those of you that haven't, uh, ha haven't seen a system, if you go and look at the Turning Point book that I wrote back in 2011, blimey, it's a long time ago now, nine years, um, I actually have a system in there that I use for allocating my money on a monthly basis. So you might want to look at that as well. Either way, it's a great thing because you come to the end of the day, you put it into one place, pockets are clear you're ready the next day then to receive more money into your world now that could be money that you find of course could be money that you earn um, if ideally try not to, and again it's your choice but try not to touch that money let it build up and accumulate some vibrational energy and a good feeling about it so that you come to the end of that month, a month and then you do something with it. Personally, I think it's important that you allocate that money or do something with it, use it in a positive way at the end of the month as opposed to letting it build up over a year because it, it ultimately, in my view, money is simply money in a vibro uh, it's energy in a, in a form that allows it to be used and so by passing it on and using it in a positive way, it, it keeps the flow of money coming through. And actually, that's why it's so good to put an intention on it when you actually uh, place the money in that in that jar or that bowl or whatever you do at the end of the year. So uh, hopefully that makes sense. It's uh, it's a great ingredient. It's an ingredient that you can use throughout your life. As we go through these daily ingredients, you know, each one will have a different level of resonance with you. There'll be stuff on relationships, stuff on health, uh, stuff on, on more personal things. And I'll just share with you how I like to use them and, and what we do. So for me, for example, over the course of a month, I might choose one month that the intention for that money is I'm going to go do something with it with the kids. And then another month, the intention might be to put that money towards a charity, for example. So that's another thing. You can have a monthly theme for that money. Or it could be that you simply say, you know what, this is money that I've earned and that's been left over at the end of the day. And at the end of this month, I'm going to just reallocate that money. Some's going to go towards savings. Some's going to go towards charity. Some's going to go towards my investments. But ultimately, just give it a good intention and have a process of tidying up at the end of the day and you'll be shocked at how that process really starts to become a habit. So Dr. Rose signing out, all the best, have a good day and enjoy gathering your money at the end of each day.